Yuri alert, everyone. Yuri alert. My wife has a girlfriend. That's right, everyone. The Diabel Star lore continues. And with it, we get a new girl. A new girl. We have Diabelle's of the original Sin. Look at her. Look at her. Let's get a good look at her. Look at that. Wow. Very nice. I like that a lot. All right, so Diabelle's of the original Sin. An illusion. We're get, getting some use out of the illusion typing and uh, level 7, 2500. So uh, it has the, it's not a spellcaster though, so it doesn't fit under that specific thing, but it does have the level 7, 2500, 20, 2000 attack or defense, I mean, which means it fits all the other uh, stuff for Diabell Star. Uh, I actually think it fits a little bit too much for Small World. It's a light monster, but it is, it is I think I think it has both, since it has both 2500 and 2000, I think Diabell Star has the exact same attack and defense stats and the same level, so it's not a Small World target really. Um, or Bridge for that matter. But yeah, uh, you can only special summon in one, the first effect once per turn. You only use the third effect once per turn. There's a Sinful Spells card in either graveyard. You can special summon this card from your hand. And that's pretty good because you're probably going to have a Sinful Spells card, whether it be Wanted or uh, uh, Original Sinful Spoils Snake Eye. Um, and then uh, your opponent cannot activate spell or trap cards that were not set. This is a big one. So uh, no Imperm. Uh, and, uh, no, no spells, uh, unless they're set first, which is, uh, it's anti-spell fragrance. It's anti-spell fragrance on a monster, on a monster, I mean, so far, not searchable. It's not Diabelle Star, it is Diabelle's. So, that's one thing, but I imagine we're going to have, I see a trap card there with the same character on it. So I imagine we're going to see... Some way of getting this card out easily, and uh, yeah, so this is a searchable floodgate, uh, one of the most annoying floodgates in the world, anti-spell fragrance. Isn't that neat? Uh, so for if you don't if you don't know, uh, anti-spell fragrance not only uh, prevents you from activating you know branded fusion on the on the turn that you're trying to activate it, you gotta wait a turn, a whole turn, actually two whole turns really, to get back to your turn, so you can activate it. Uh, it stops quick play spells like runic. You have to set them so you, before you can actually use them. Uh, stop, you know, it stops a lot of the rota cards that a lot of decks are playing. So bonfire, uh, uh, rota itself, of course. Uh, lots of decks uh, have some sort of search effect. The goblin riders have one. The the uh, fire fire kings. Although fire king plays around this by setting the card directly. Uh, like so pl setting, pl pl placing the card directly on the field, uh, but only if you're using Ponix's effect or the effect of the continuous spell, which you know that. Or wait, does Ponix add the hand? No, Ponix adds the hand. It doesn't directly set it, does it? So it, it has to. You you still have to set the continuous spell and then use that to get Fire King Island out, right? I don't remember. Um. This is the deck I'm going to be playing, so I better I better learn it. <laughs> that's going to be my that's going to be my meta deck this uh this format. All right. Oh my God, Yu-Gi-Oh, Ponix Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm looking it up. I'm literally looking it up. Add, yes, add. It does not have an option to place it on the field. So, uh, ooh, ah, uh, mmm. Mm, not good, not good. And it's only for your opponent too. It doesn't apply to you at all. That's awesome. That's awesome, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe they're printing stuff like this. This turns off pendulums. You can't pe you can't set pendulum scales when this is active, just like anti-spell fragrance. So like any any time this is on the field, pendulums can't play, and it's so much more accessible than anti-spell fragrance, which is already a card that people play. Ugh. Ah, so annoying. And then it has a third effect too. If a spell trap is set to the field while this monster is on the field. You could target one card you control and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. And you have to set spell traps to the field to get around, to to stop, you know, to actually be able to activate them next turn. And this also applies, this is, this is not just to your opponent's side of the field, it's to any side of the field. So if you set a card to your field, like say by the effect of Diabell Star, 
that triggers this too. Very annoying. Very annoying. This is going to be a very annoying card. All right, let's see what's next. Uh, Sinful Spoils Cycle. So that's searchable off of Diabell Star. Use the first and second effects once per turn. Take one level five or higher illusion monster from your deck. Level five, that's interesting. I imagine we're going to get another one at some point. From your deck, either add it to your hand or special summon it. If special summon this way, it cannot activate its effects during the main phase this turn. So this lets you special summon Diabell's of the original Sin because it's a level, as a l illusion monster that's higher than level five. Uh, and the Floodgate effect does not activate. It's a continuous effect that applies on field. Uh, so the Floodgate effect is active. And it only stops it from activating its effects during the main phase. Wow. Oh, that's really annoying. Uh, and that's searchable off of Diabell Star. And, uh, Populus. Ah, I hate this. Wow, wait, I, I love Diabell Star, and you're making me really, making it really annoying. Uh, and it has another effect too, you could banish this card from your graveyard, and then target one face on the card you control, or return it to the hand, and set one spell trap from your hand. Okay, well that's, it's got a dust tornado effect, alright. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that one, I don't really care about that one, I don't think. But uh, the other effect is really fucking annoying, and just in combination with the fact that you can get this. What's really interesting about it, though, is it's just a level 5 or higher illusion monster, which means going forward, any level 5 or higher illusion monster has great synergy, uh, or has a pot potential synergy, I should say, with the Diabell Star stuff. Now, the thing is, this is a trap card, which means you have to wait for the next turn to actually summon it. So it has to be something that's actually going to be useful to summon on your opponent's turn. But, keep that in mind as we start to get more illusion monsters. Definitely something to keep in your thinker, in your noggin. And we have one more. Oh my god, look at this one. That's the wrong... Okay, come on. Open link. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, look at that. They're crazy for each other. They love each other. They adore each other. But they hate each other. It's so good. We love we love Yuri. All right, sinful spoils of dozing. Morgan, Morgan. I love that. All right, you can use the first. The, you can only use one of the first and second effects of card name per turn. Only once that turn. Target one's face up special summon monster. Change the face down defense position. That's not bad. You control level five or higher illusion monster in this card in your graveyard. So you get to set this card. But management leaves the field. Okay. So it's got a. It's like it's bad book of moon. I guess. Well. Uh, Bad Book of Moon is probably an overstatement. It's like, um, it's sideways Book of Moon. Yeah, like it's not, it's not really better. It's not really worse. It's kind of to the side, uh, because it does have to target a specifically a special summon monster to change it down in the defense position, but it can also reset itself. Uh, so you get two uses out of it. That's like, that's like fine. It's, it's fine. Oh, and also because it sets itself that lets you activate the effect of Diabells to pop a card as well. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, these... I, I, I don't know what really more I could say about it. It's, um... <clears throat> uh, Konami clearly fucking hates Pendulum, and they want Pendulum players to die in a ditch. Um... <laughs> Uh, so they've created a card that is even better than Anti-Spell Fragrance at specifically shutting down Pendulum. Um, just because of how much more accessible it is. So if a Pendulum deck ever becomes good, like maybe with the, um, the new cards coming for, like, whatever, whatever second wave we get for Valmonica. Although actually Valmonica goes around this by its effect, because it sets the scales by its effect. Um... But if like if like there's better Valmonica cards coming, that that could theor it could still theoretically uh, blow up some of the plays. Like it could it could screw up some of the plays depending on how it works. And then uh, you know like the new um, I want to say I keep wanting to say Mayakashi Magispector Magispector. It's a it's the M A. I was like my that's not Mayakashi. It's Magispector. But the new Magispector stuff coming like if it's if that deck was going to be good, no, it isn't. Like this deck this these cards here make it so it's not going to be good. Uh, because if it ever becomes meta-relevant, this card will be here. In fact, it might be here anyways. Uh, so many decks are playing the Dia Bellstar package, uh, and this 
doesn't f take too much to do. Like, it takes two, uh, two more spaces, right? Two more spaces. But one of the spaces it's taking is the flex spot for whatever uh, Sinful Spoils you're running that's not Original Sin Sinful Spoils. Now, I've seen a lot of decks that are just running one copy of Original Sin Sinful Spoils or two copies of it. That's fine. It's reasonable. But if you already draw it, having the extra Sinful Spoils to go into, not a bad idea. And you could run this trap card here. You could run this trap card right here. And you could run just one Dia Bells in there. And you could summon that off of that. Or maybe you run the Diabells in your side deck. Maybe you have this guy, this little trap card, and this Diabells in the side deck. And you side them in uh, in matchups where you know your your opponent's playing a heavy spell-centered deck. Or you, you think they might be playing they might be they might be switching into triple tactics packages. Like it 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 donks triple tactics even worse because triple tactics has to get this uh, uh, gets a spell. And then you have to set the spell. You have to set the triple tax, tri triple tactics thrust, and then get the spell, and then set that, and then use it. Like, nah, dog, come on. So I, I feel like this has a lot more application. Like, if branded is, is good, this deck uh, destroys that. Uh, if if it, it hits Fire King, I don't think it destroys Fire King. I think Fire King can still play through. But it severe, severely limits what it can do. You can't get Fire King Island uh, online turn one. You can't get uh, Fire King Sanctuary online turn one. Um, you can't do bonfire stuff to get uh, Populous. Uh, like, th there's uh, Unchained cards that you can't use. There's a couple of those. That you wouldn't be able to use. you still be able to use the second effect where you pop them after they've been set. That's fine. Wait. Oh, no. If you, if you, if you set it first, I think you could still activate the other effect. Right? right? If... It, if you had just popped... Like, if you... Like, hold up. If, uh... If you're... If you, like, Foolish Burial Goods, and of course you'd have to set Foolish Burial Goods, if you Foolish Burial Goods a trap card, like Rainbow Bridge of Salvation to the grave, are you allowed to activate Rainbow Bridge of Salvation under the Floodgate of Diabells? Because it wasn't set, but it's in the graveyard. I don't know how, how that works. I don't know how that works. That could be really annoying, too. Uh, but yeah, uh, extremely annoying that they're printing these kind of Floodgates, uh, Lore-wise, I love it. I love that we're getting this, like, rivalry and this, like, Yuri stuff going on. A+. A plus. Uh, I just wish it wasn't a floodgate. <laughs> um, but yeah. Alright, well, that's, I guess, all I have to say. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, let me know if there's some sort of out to it that I'm not thinking of. Because rem just remember, though, the floodgate stays up. It does not get negated. It's only the other two effects that get negated. Or, I guess, the other one effect. It's already special summon, so you don't need the special summon effect at that point. Um, uh, or, it's not even negated, it's just you can't activate it. <laughs> uh, Alright, yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, and, uh, especially especially let me know where you think the lore is going. Uh, I, think, I think there's some interesting stuff going on here. This, I think... I, I was a little worried with the new, the new cards we got last time, that this was just going to be a lore between Diabell Star and the Goblin Riders. It's just going to be them and like this kind of self-contained thing. But with this, it's very, it's making it very clear that this is going to be the new big lore. I think so. I'm, I'm excited for that because I think this is going to be a really interesting big lore, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, let me know what you think, of course, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, we're about done with these reveals for Legacy of Destruction. Because I am tired of looking at them. <laughs> Give me a break. I need, I need some time off. <laughs> All right. See you in the next one. Bye. Hey there. Thanks for watching another video. Why don't you give it a like, share it around, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications. You know, the YouTube stuff. You can also follow me on Twitch and Twitter for more content. I got content plenty for you. You can also support the channel by giving me money. You have a Patreon. If you join the Patreon, you can show up in the credits over here. 
I would really appreciate that. You can also use my TCG player affiliate link to get any singles, sealed product, or accessories you want, all to start reporting the channel at the same time. That's all for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of whatever time it is for you. Bye now!